Welcome to the Charity Connector. Hosted by Dominic Fenton and produced by Grow Radio, we give you an insight into the hearts of charities making waves in our world. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Charity Connector. I'm your host, Dom Fenton, and today I have another guest. Hi Andrew, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. It's great to have you on with us. Andrew, obviously we've chatted a little bit before, literally only today. Why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? Just tell them who you are and what you do. Hi there, I'm Andrew Burgess. I work in security and obviously I am the one of the founders of the Danny Butcher Foundation, a charity that, you know, that we're, we're proud of, although we've got lots to do on it. And yeah, I'm also just sort of person that really likes to stand up for things and, you know, make a difference, should I say. That's great. And I think actually that's from a, a charity point of view, from a, any sort of organisation, I think that's really important. That actually there are people that want to stand up, that want to stand up for right things. And hopefully by doing this podcast and us putting it out, we can obviously then sort of get you the support that you need yeah. to hopefully take the organisation sort of the uh, organisation forward. So why don't you just give us a little brief history about the organisation? Sure. It's basically, the Danny Butcher Foundation was started with the family of Danny when Danny tragically passed away. Danny was a, he died by suicide, sadly, and he was a soldier, serving soldier at the time, and he was in significant debt, as well as he also did suffer from mental health, which was exacerbated by the debt. And Obviously, I was one of the last people that Danny rang, and I was quite upset by Danny's passing to the point where we we wanted to make a difference for other people. It it the problem is when Danny passed, it it, it left a lot of um, things going on, should I say? And if I sound vague, it's because I want to watch what I stay legally, mm-hmm. which is a sensible thing to do. But along the lines of, I had an incident that took four years of my life uh which will be available for anyone who wants to have a google and the incident uh locked me into litigation for four years and within those four years although the charity remained as it was i personally was going through too much as was uh, everyone else around me to maintain that charity sadly we had trustees leave we managed to do one donation of £500 to a uh, veteran's homeless charity that would assist. We've got we've got money in the bank. We obviously could have more. We've been stasis for four years. And as soon as my situation over the four years had ended, I got a burning desire. Just we all did. We spoke. We sat there and we talked and we said, shall we shut this charity down? And we all agreed it was Danny's legacy. and. I then become fully content. I was just, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this down right now. And then suddenly, I started hearing a rumor, like, oh, a, a soldier that's got a similar story to Danny. They've lost money in the same way to Danny. Wants to do a run, and I thought, oh yeah, whatever. Here, here we go again. And then suddenly, the next thing I see, I look on Facebook, and this soldier, Jason Jackson's his name. He's an ex-military veteran. He's doing this run, and I thought, oh won't raise a lot of money and it's I take another look that three four hundred finalizes it he's raised over a thousand and seventy and I spoke to all the other trustees and I said this soldier's raised this money we're gonna do this with the charity so they said well you know why can't we keep it going so I thought well how can we've not got the expertise which is when almost how I ended up on this podcast because in a blind panic I posted I searched Facebook groups and I I found your Facebook group and I was like well, the Facebook group that you're in anyway and I said you know can someone help and I had three people reach out one said look I'll help you when I get some money another one a founder of another charity I think it's called Kira's Box but don't quote me on that but she's a, a great woman who runs this charity She's potentially looking at coming on board as a trustee and we've got our first trustees meeting on Friday. And I, I realised when Jason's money came through, it, it's currently sat in my bank account, not earning any interest because he went to donate it and he couldn't. So I said, send it to me, I'll donate it. And I couldn't. So 
I started a little Monzo pot with zero interest and I'm in the process now of moving over from total giving, hopefully, to just giving, getting all the documents together, which is my first step, because I had no idea that we probably have not been able to take donations. I, I mean, I thought they'd dried up for years now. <laughs> I've cancelled the insurance. There's not a lot of money on there it's worth insuring at the minute in terms of that, which it will deplete it. We've got an accountant who's not charging us at the minute because there's not really a lot of work to be done. We haven't had donations. So we really want to rebuild this charity and make it something big. And, you know, we need all sorts of support. We're willing to listen, you know, IT, anything. I funded the original artwork and stuff out of my own money. I didn't take that. So the charity currently, other than when brief time we did have insurance, really had no expenses other than insurance so we really are keen to give all the money back to the causes that we support yeah yeah so i think in terms of that let's start and it's great that you've come up and hopefully we can be that part to help you start the traction moving forward again because i know that the people who do listen to this i'm as a as an individual i'm very much a doer so actually rather than talk and talk i'd rather just get action and, and make things forward you know, and just go right rather than keep talking. Yeah, let's put something on and let's do something, which is in some ways how this podcast came about. So, in terms of obviously, you're saying sort of give it, give funding to the right causes and things like that. So, to, at the moment where you're at, what would be those right causes? Are there particular areas where you go at? So, these are the areas we want to work. So this is me talking from an opinion about consulting the other trustees, and this is why we yeah. have trustees meetings. Yeah. At the minute, the charity is focused on homeless and mental health, which I'm perfectly happy with. Now, we might change the constitution. We might branch out to more things. A particular cause that's really helped me and Danny, it helped me in the Danny situation, I believe, are things like the Free Speech Union, and other things so and index on censorship so people can talk freely because there's a, a backlog where people can't talk freely and that's how many things go on in society that nobody can talk about so there's certain cases where things have to happen uh, and there's other cases i can mention in history like i met a, a, a woman who did a piece on the on recent activity regarding oligarchs and things that were going on and was shut down with legal threats well she wasn't shut down she fought it and won but it's that sort of thing that i'm personally of the opinion that you should be able as long as it's not illegal you know you're not plotting a crime or doing something nasty you should be able to say it and another person should be able to have a differing opinion and danny's family have received legal threats historically too so I don't know whether that might be something they're interested in, but I wouldn't want to take the money that's already been donated to the charity. Uh, and again, this is only my, my opinion speaking and repurpose it to those causes. I'd like to do initial fundraisers. Uh, for example, we could raise some money for the free speech union and I could do a half marathon and accept that money's where that's going to go. And people would donate understanding that. So I would like to branch out the causes that are close to our hearts, which now, in addition to homeless mental health veterans, personally, I really care about free speech. Exactly. It's something I've really decided to take upon myself. And I did upgrade my membership to the Free Speech Union to gold, because I think we live in a society where you should be able to say something about me and I should be able to say something about you and we can have a disagreement or we can agree to not agree with what one another's saying. Yeah. Uh, and th that's a society I want to live in. Did I necessarily accept everyone's views? So that's something we might all agree as a triage to push forward. But we don't know until um, the Friday after this podcast was recorded, uh, this Friday, but some Friday in the past for you guys. We don't know when we will be able to discuss that and see whether we go down that route and it might be the fact that the other trustees say well hang on a minute no and we also need to know what red tape we've got and where we can do stuff by having more trustees with knowledge 
So it's great we've got another trustee now with knowledge of charities and how they're run, but it would be great to have a, a real team behind us so we can grow the name to of Danny Butcher because I, I think it's a name that should live on in many ways and it should make a difference to many. And I think it's a, a legacy to him and it has to be brought forth in the right way and it has to also... I think it will also bring comfort to the family in the fact that there is something going on. Because I remember when we first started the charity, it, it really helped the Butcher family cope. And I want to bring that feeling back, but have the feeling of a polished system, decent. We do have some all right IT at the minute, but some more decent IT, the foundations, get it all fully insured fundraising bona fide in terms of it is bona fide at the minute but really you know just so we can look at it and think that is a vision of what we really wanted you know yeah no, and, I, and i think and i think it's it's really important now to get that clarity in terms of where you're going to go where you want to go and obviously yes we're as we're recording you've got a trustee meeting this week and obviously what we can you know when people hear this there will be clarity there will be clarity in terms of where the direction the, the charity the foundation is going to go and obviously the two causes that you're already involved with is sort of homelessness and sort of the mental health vitally important anyway so you know yeah. even when people hear this if there is an opportunity for them to donate or do something to raise money actually you know they're massive causes anyway and something really close to everyone's mm. hearts yeah, and, and I would say I I had never suffered really from mental health until um, the incident happened to me. And I was reaching around for areas of support. And the problem is, if you have something really ongoing and difficult to tackle that goes on a number of years, it's hard to treat. It's not like you can just give someone drugs for that or... You can say, okay, here's the issue. This person's died. This will get better with mm -hmm. time. If something's ongoing and there's no end to it and it's tackling you, the NHS really comes unstuck in terms of they offered me CBT, but then they worked out that the problem was real world. So it wasn't something random I was worrying about. And then they they said, you know, we can't do much. In it. Well, along the lines of, they didn't say this precisely, but the impression I got was they couldn't really assist me unless I tried to kill myself in terms of that's when they start enacting the protocol. So until then, you're more, well, stay calm. Counselling was too expensive. My I spent a lot of money on lawyers. <laughs> so I didn't have money for counselling. And I don't think counselling, I had a few free sessions and I don't think it really worked. To be honest, my counsellor told me she didn't know how I coped. I was like, oh, I don't know. That's why am I talking to you? So that's something that um, resources, you know, that that there really is a, a serious gap in resource, I do believe, for mental health and people with problems that are just problems in terms of not something chemically wrong with their mind, which are some ways lucky people. But obviously there's because it's a problem that's happened that will one day go away. Yeah. But the the build up to that, the pressure to that, they need some assistance in tackling that in the short to medium term. Otherwise, it can still be as devastating as any other situation, you know. So, yeah. And I, and I think as well, you know, thank you for sharing some of that stuff as well, because actually it's amazing. You know, personally, I've struggled with my own mental health, so I've had my own challenges. And I think actually, when we admit these things and when we discuss these things, become a lot yeah. more per things become a lot more personal. And you know, yeah. and we take and we take it and we take it on because actually, we don't want people to go through what we've gone through. So actually, you know, the fact that we're talking mental health, you know, the yeah. fact is you're also looking at homelessness as well, which is such a big thing now. And the number of the people that are homeless also then struggle with their own mental health. It's that cycle. And we know that there's a lack of funding. We know that, you know, yeah. we, we know there's issues and we know there's 
just society as we, as we speak at the moment. Have you, obviously, when you've donated money out to other organisations already, did you hear back from them the sort of difference that that made? I, it was a long time ago. Like I said, it's gone stagnant for four years mm. and it was, it would have been roughly just over four years ago. Right. I would be able to track it down, obviously, because it was all logged and bona fide yeah. and made. The organisation, <laughs> and the fact that I've come onto this podcast not knowing the name of the organisation shows how disconnected we've been from it, because it's something I should be waving the flag of, you know, we've oh, no. done this. Yeah, it's, it's, but, yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? It's the only person we've donated to, but they were a charity from my memory that dealt with homelessness and veterans. Uh, no, it's definitely veterans, and it was quite a, a well-known charity. And it hit home hard because I think it was Mr. Butcher's, Mr. Butcher's friends run that charity, and it's a fully registered charity, you know, mm. bigger than us, bigger than we could ever be at the minute. And they did a little thank you, I seem to remember, to say thank you. And we had a story published about it in a, a news place that was unfortunately removed due to the situation that went on with me no. that everyone no. distanced themselves from me <laughs> and the charity no. okay but yeah it, it it's but we donated it and we were happy with it and it would have made a difference yeah, yeah. i think they said it would house someone for x amount of time okay. again casting my mind back four years and yeah and as i say a lot's gone on in those four years so let's start now in terms of, let's say, the next two or three years' time looking ahead, where you're at now, where would you want to be in those sort of two to three years' time? Okay, so firstly, I'd like to be accountable. When I say accountable, I don't mean obviously we're accountable every way. I would like to have a list of successes, i.e. that person we donated to and Jason Jackson. I would like that. That's just a simple step. That I would just like that highlighted on our website which i'll work on doing soon so that because that was a clear success then i would like more trustees with knowledge knowledgeable trustees i also have learning difficulties so i've got asperger's i was diagnosed with well and it, it can affect me doing stuff technical things occasionally okay. so i would like more trustees to assist me with things but not only would i like more trustees I'd like the charity to build money and have a strategic financial plan in terms of where that money's invested to help the charity grow, what advertising or infrastructure we have. And the idea is I would like that feeling that I've spent £1,000 to make £5,000, Yeah, you know, and, and I would like to keep the money in the charity so the, the money and the charity grows, not, you know, we're not interested in the money. None of us are. We don't, yeah, we're interested in the money being in the charity, but we're not interested in the money for any of our personal gain yeah. because we saw what money did to Danny in terms of the, the lack of the debt, the stress, and that made money less important to our personal lives yeah, and more important to how we can assist others who are in a similar situation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's really, and I think that happens that when, when there is a tragic thing that goes on, and unfortunately yeah. that's the involved money, it does change your whole thought process around money. Yeah, and, and actually, you know, I love the fact that you want to help people not be in that situation. You want to support people. So, if there was a magic wand, um. What would someone listen to this now do for you? I would like someone with great experience within charities, possibly a business acumen when it comes to charities in terms of they really know how to make these things big. I'd like them to reach out to me and offer support. I'd like people with technical banking skills that I can verify our genuine people through online presence and have the, the blue tick, so to speak to reach out and offer me assistance. And I would like people to share the charity, share the charity as well. So that would be the magic wand. And obviously I'd like some money to come in so we can feel, feel a sense of achievement, you know, yeah. that we've 
really made this charity big and we're running it like a smooth operating clock. So the time we're putting in is more beneficial because at the minute, all the time I'm putting in is fixing it because obviously the four year gap and I've got, I've become a father nearly twice, once and the second one in in December will be this year. So I have two children with December birthdays uh, and with everything that's gone on with me, it's kind of left me, obviously it's left me battling myself to the point where my time just becomes, you know, you have to work, you have to feed the family, you have to see the children where they have to, it's a pleasure to, but well, you've got so many things going on and then you've got, I've got a partner and I have to keep up with her and just check, check in with that. So sometimes my concentration when trying to, with all my learning difficulties, when trying to make all this right, hold the trustee meetings, do it all properly it, 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 uh, with the stress that I've still got from the past four years from the, the huge incident that took over my life uh, uh, and the sadness of what happened to Danny it, it, it it's very hard so it's almost like I feel like I'm working every 10 minutes I feel like I'm doing two hours work yeah. gathering documents as well on stakeholders so just someone just to come in and just do their best with me so we can do our best together you know yeah uh, no, I, I i can see that and i can see just from where you're talking the toil that's had on you over the last few years um so realistically if someone listens to this just reach out if you uh, think you can support andrew um, uh, and that, just to say they'll they'll also be supporting i i feel bad for not getting them on and this is Part of the situation, I said, they'll also be supporting Alan Butcher and Carrie Butcher, who this is arguably more important to because it's their blood. So I do feel I should give them a shout out too. But yeah, yeah and and if need be, we can get them on. If need be, we can get them on again. You know, yeah, to talk to them and I, and I, and then we can get them. We'll, on we'll, we'll let them watch well. this one and then we can arrange a round two, maybe where yeah. we uh, yeah. we do a follow up what's happened and get the butchers on because I, I I'd love them to be. A, a part of this i do feel bad now not inviting him it's just the the world just passes me by you know yeah it no, just that's passes fine. Me by. well what we'll do if anyone can help whereabouts where can they get hold of you uh, so i'm in bristol yeah and the, i'm on facebook yeah. i should probably start checking the charity's emails too but you know well, i do check them but you know you get a lot of spam so I don't, yeah. don't want to yeah. miss one of them but i can give you my mobile number as well and they can drop me a, a whatsapp and you've got a link to my facebook if you want to yeah. Yeah. link my facebook to the podcast that, is, there a, the uh, is there a website is there a website the danny butcher foundation has a website yeah yeah so yeah. do you know do you know what that address is i think it's dannybutcher.org.uk but i it will okay. come up on google yeah no what we'll know. do we'll add it we'll add that on We'll add that on when this when we put this out. Is, yeah. is there one last thing you'd want me for anyone listening right now? Um, it's just, just if you guys are in a, a difficult place or whatever, also reach out to us and keep everyone who's involved in charities, keep doing the great work and keep doing this amazing podcast. And it's really important to help others and try and change things because if we don't try and change things, no one will, you know? So just stay strong and reach out if you can help and help us help others hopefully and help us restore Danny's name in the charity like we wish we had been all along amazing no Andrew that's amazing keep up the work obviously when this obviously when we put this out we'll share all your details on it as well yeah thank you everyone for tuning in this will be out on YouTube and also Spotify and Apple Podcasts This is the Charity Connector. I'm your host, Don Fenton, and I'll see you next time. Take care now. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks, Dom.